by ncrt publications you have two textbook that is mathematics part 1 and mathematics part 2 from linear programming you are going to learn what is linear programming you are going to solve problems with the help of linear programming so we are going to conduct three periodic tests out of the best two is chosen to award you for 10 marks Hello everyone myself Shruti Department of Mathematics Vidyashram School of Excellence Mysuru today we are here to discuss about the syllabus as well as the question paper design of your class 12 mathematics so here in this session we are going to look at the prescribed textbook for your class 12 the core structure that is the syllabus prescribed by the board the question paper design and the internal assessment so let's see what are the textbook you can refer for your class 12 mathematics now by ncrt publications you have two textbook that is mathematics part 1 and mathematics part 2 you can also download the syllabus from the ncrt website now along with that you have an exemplar problem which contains an advanced problems which helps you to solve your state cet as well as je je advanced next you have a lab manual for class 12 which we will assess you through internal assessment you have mathematical activities and those activities are prescribed in this manual given by ncrt so these are the textbook you can refer for your class 12 mathematics next we have a uh, syllabus that is the core structure so you have six units here so the first unit is relations and functions so you have already studied relations and functions in your class 11 here you are going to study the types of relations the types of function as well as inverse trigonometric function you have studied trigonometric previous year now you are going to study about their inverse next we have algebra algebra also have a very easy chapter her matrices and determinants which is very easy to score here next you have calculus calculus is the continuity of your chapter limits from class 11 so here we are going to study the continuity of a function differentiability of various types of functions like log functions exponential functions inverse trigonometric functions and other functions next we have vectors and three dimensional geometry so it's a very new concept and easiest so here three dimensional geometry you have learned about the coordinates in three dimensions last year now you are going to study the line in terms of three dimensional geometry next you have linear programming so the linear programming is from linear inequalities you have learned how to find the solutions of linear inequalities in two variables in previous year so the same section is continued with the help of linear programming here also you are going to find the solution by graphical method next you have the probability again a uh, continued part of probability here you are going to study different uh, types of probabilities and calculation of probability under different conditions so you can also see the marks is allotted for each units here so for first unit overall you will get 8 the second is 10 the calculus contains a maximum marks of 35 next you have 14 and linear programming 5 probability 8 so total you're going to face one paper that is pen and paper exam that is your written exam for 80 marks and the rest 20 will be your internal assessment now let's see what are the chapters under each units you're going to study so as i said already from the relations and functions so you have two chapter relations and functions and inverse trigonometric function from the next unit algebra you have matrices and determinants which are very easy to learn as well as the easy concept and very easy to score in your examination also next you have calculus here we have continuity and differentiability next we will study its applications next we have integration and its application next we have formations of differential equations next from the unit vectors and three dimensional geometry you are going to learn in detail about the vectors the three dimensional geometry basically you will learn about lines 
from linear programming, you are going to learn what is linear programming. You are going to solve problems with the help of linear programming. Next, you have probability, the advanced concepts related to probability. So these are the chapters, that is 13 chapters you have from the syllabus. Next, we are going to see the question paper pattern or question paper design for your class 12. You can see the subject code is here 041. Now, for the year 23-24, let's see the weightage and about the internal choices here. So, we can see there is no chapter wise weightage. So, the weightage of units are given. That is, we can see from the relations and functions here, you have 8 marks from algebra 10 marks. That means under the unit 1, you have 2 chapters. So, both topics are covered. Overall, they will give you 8 marks. Similarly, under calculus 35 means from 5 chapters, they will choose overall concepts from each chapters and the question paper is set for 35 marks under calculus. So clearly we can see there is no chapter wise weightage like for relations and function, for inverse trigonometric function, for matrices, for determinants, there is no particular number of marks given to each chapter. So the marks is allotted for complete unit. Also about the internal choices in your question paper, there are no internal choices in particular for every question but under each section. In the question paper, you have an around of 33% internal choices in all the section. So the overall question paper is maximum of 80 marks and the time allotted here is for 3 hours. So you're going to face your examination for 3 hours for 80 marks. Next is internal assessment. The internal assessment is what we will assess you that is the through periodic test. So we are going to conduct three periodic tests out of the best two is chosen to award you for 10 marks. Then the rest 10 marks is given with your mathematics activities. So where are we going to study these mathematic activities? So in mathematics lab, so I already told you, you have your activities which is prescribed by your board in the manual. So from those manual, you're going to keep a record like your practicals in your physics, chemistry and biology. Here also you're going to maintain a record of your mathematics activities where we will be given you 10 marks. So your internal assessment is for 20 marks. Your overall exam paper is for 80 marks. So maximum of 100 is what you can expect from mathematics. So with 100% confidence, let's start your class 12 mathematics. In the next session, I will take the concept classes of each lesson. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.